everyone it's Claire from Scrappy Nerd UK and I am up first today for UK Scrap Addicts and we have a new theme for the month as it's the 1st of June. So our theme this month is to mix old and new stash. So you could be um, the sort of person that already does this um, but there are a lot of people out there that um, like to stick to one collection um, like to use just the newest products um, and so we wanted to cover a theme um, to show that actually you can incorporate old products um, into your scrapbook layouts um, and still make them look uh, fairly modern. So I am currently um, working quite a lot on my um, Disney layouts and I wanted to show that you can use the um, older products and also it's with Disney, it's um, with the Disney products, the um, they do coordinate quite well together. So that is my main tip for um, getting older collections to um, work with um, newer supplies. So I'm using a mixture of um, the Magic and Wonder, which is the first Echo Park sort of Disney themed papers um, collection. Um, and I'm also working with Say Cheese 4, which is the latest one um, from Simple Stories. And I'm just mixing them all together. Um, my tip for doing this would be to find common colours um, between the older collection you're trying to work with or older supplies um, and the newer ones. So find colours that are common um, together um, and pair them up. And that is my main tip for using um, older stuff. So I am um, a stickler when it comes to scrapbooking, just using one single collection. So um, this is slightly outside my comfort zone with um, mixing everything together. Um, I normally stick to, if I'm going to mix collections, I normally stick to the same manufacturer. Um, but I am mixing and matching between different manufacturers, old, new collections um, and seeing how, how I get on. So these photographs here that I'm scrapping are from um, our last Florida trip to um, our last Florida trip to Florida, surprisingly. Our last trip to Florida in um, May last year. And um, it's a bit sad because we were due to fly out to Florida in when this goes live, it would have been in three days time, um, but we're home and safe. That's the main thing. So just whilst I have been babbling away there, I have chosen to use multiple photos on this. Um, and the photographs are of the same. We had them taken at the same time in the same location. Um, and they are just a, um, some of them are one, one of them's more close up. Um, and then we've got one slightly further away and then the bigger one as well. Um, and these were taken by the um, Disney photographers. And you can see there it's got the Magic Kingdom logo already printed on the photo. Um, and that's something they do with the Disney photographers. Um, if you have the, um, the photo pass, I can't think of what it's, Magical Memories, I think it might be called now. Um, so I'm just going to build up then. I've used um, quite a few pattern papers, which is really unlike me. Um, I was going to go for white cardstock, but I pushed myself um, to use a pattern paper background. And I used this um, red one with all the scripty white words on. That was from Say Cheese 4. Um, and then I've got this card here, the uh, attraction itinerary. Um, and that was from Say Cheese 1, I believe. So that was the original collection. Um, so what I'm doing here is just grading um, the, the rides. I, I asked my husband's opinion for this because he would disagree with me. If I said it's a small world, I'd give it two out of three. Um, he would say, and he deserve, doesn't deserve one. He doesn't really like that ride. But I think it's so iconic that... Um, I just love it anyway. And then the song gets stuck in your head. I won't start singing the song um, because if you've been, you'll know. Um, and that song stays with you for the rest of your life. So here I'm just going through um, bits of chipboard 
and um, in my bag here I have uh, multiple different bits of uh, ephemera and a few chipboard pieces as well again these are all from different collections old collections um, these are pretty much the older collections because the newer ones um, I have kept in the um, the actual packets the original packets um, because it was just getting so overwhelming the amount of bits that I was having to flick through so I kept um, some of the newer ones so these die cuts here are from say cheese three um, and they they all work they all work together because they have the common colors so um, they are going to have a difference in terms of the tone of color um, or this this saturation of color some of them are a bit more saturated than others um, but in the whole they they work with red yellow blue and black um, and white so um, those are the colors that I'm aiming for and yeah it just all comes together really nicely so I've got this heart um, from that ephemera pack but it was just slightly too big for me to add on to the center of that um, attraction card so I'm just going to um, cut that down and then just add on some foam just to give it some dimension now I am trying to be really choice in terms of how much foam I'm using in my albums now um, it's very apparent to me that um, the more bulkier stuff is really making um, making it a problem to get many layouts into an album so um, I'm trying to use um, the thinnest uh, foam possible um, and the chipboard pieces if they are um, the thinner chipboard which these are they're not too much of a problem but if it's the thicker stuff um, then I tend to um, peel half of the chipboard off the back um, and then re-stick them now there were these little buttons paper buttons in the die cut pack and so I'm just going to thread uh, thread them with some white um, embroidery thread just to um, just to give them a little something extra rather than just being stuck down um, so that's giving an added texture to the page um, so as I said I'm filming this for um, UK Scrap Addicts we have scrap to a different theme every month um, we have a, a wonderful design team we are on uh, we have our own Facebook group um, so come over and find us on Facebook and um, we have a blog so this will all be all the details will be in the blog for uh, blog post for this and that's all linked up below um, and we also have Instagram as well of course we have all of the social medias so be sure to head on over um, and check out um, all of those um, all of those groups and blogs and everything that I've just mentioned and as I said I will I will link them below both on the UK Scrap Addicts channel if you're watching it there hi um, and also over on my channel if you're watching this video there hi so I'm just been messing around here just sticking everything down um, nothing um, nothing that um, no technique here that needs to be seen other than that I just want to show that use different layers so where I've got a couple of different paper layers there um, tuck things into different layers when you are creating your embellishment clusters um, it definitely does give you a um, a different look a layered look oh that flare badge just flew across the screen so because I've got quite a few circle elements going on I thought I would um, look to see whether that worked and it didn't um, so that went back in the box so next up please do not judge um, yes I have a lot of Disney stickers but equally um, we've been to Disney for six times um between florida california and paris so um that is the reason why i have so many sticker sheets there and as i said i am not going to pull out the sticker sheet that corresponds to um, the background paper i am just going to flick through all of the sticker sheets and choose um, some bits that i want to include and not worry what collection they're from and that is the main um, the main thing for this month 
grab those older supplies, get them out, get them used. Um, how about make yourself up a kit using some older supplies and then mixing in um, some newer supplies as well? Um, that could be quite fun. So I might actually give that a go myself. Um, not the Disney stuff. Um, I will do that with some other collections and um, see how I see how I get on for the month. See how many layouts I can make from it. There are a couple of uh, manufacturers that it is easier to do um, use older supplies and newer supplies with. Um, I think some of the Disney stuff is easy to mix um, together. Um, I think the cocoa vanilla stuff is very easy to mix together. Um, some of the other ones, maybe not so much. Um, I find that a couple of the Chamel collections will work really well together as well. So, um, like I said, look for those common tones um, in the collections and um, pull in other things that will make, make it all come together. So last few stickers on here then. Um, and I just want something... Um, a little bit dimensional so I'm going to pull in some um, little Mickey um, enamel heads and I think this is pretty much done um, so thank you very much for watching if you've enjoyed the video then please give it a thumbs up um, if you're new please hit that subscribe button and um, leave any comments in the uh, comments section down below and I'll see you all next time bye